Hey guys, Walter's World here, and we're in Heidelberg, Germany, and this is just a little tour, not really a tourist tip, but kind of a learning tip, because I know I have a lot of, you know, travel tips and also learning languages tips, and one of the things you need to know is when you learn a language, there's some things you should remember. All right, now I'm up here at the beautiful, beautiful Heidelberg ca Castle, here at the Schloss, okay, it's a really, really pretty place. Now, we do have some wind, obviously, today, so I'm going to go someplace where you have a little bit less wind, so you can hear a little bit better, okay? Or I might just show you some of the castle while I do this. Now, the first thing you need to realize is when you are learning a language is to realize you're never going to be a native speaker. Never. Don't try to be a native speaker because you're just going to get yourself frustrated. Okay? I've had lots of friends who get so mad because they never quite get things right. You know, they can't make the O with the two dots right or something like that. It's not worth it. Unless you start learning the language when you're like three or five years old, you're never going to be native fluent. So don't try to be native fluent. All right? Just have fun with it. All right? So next, when you try to speak another language, relax and enjoy it. It's fun. Okay, like, hey, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm making a fool of myself, but it's okay. Because if you get all tense about it, okay, and you don't relax, then you're going to make more mistakes, and you're going to get frustrated and make even more mistakes. And you, you know, it's kind of a, a vicious circle. So just relax and enjoy speaking another language because it is fun. Okay? Now, a technical tip that I do to help me learn languages especially to pronounce words, is I get, you know, the free newspaper or a book or whatever, and I read out loud, okay? Because if you read out loud the words, you just have to force yourself to sound it out. And you can find words that you don't know how to pronounce, so you can ask people. Because you can know words just by seeing it, but not know what it really means, okay? So that's one of the things I always like to do, just so read out loud when you get something. Now, the next thing I want to tell you to do is, um, instead of getting a phrase book, get a good grammar book. Okay, because the phrase book gives you phrases, so you can t ask people things, but you have no idea what they're going to answer back unless they answer that exact same phrase back to you. So your best bet is to get a grammar book, learn the grammar for it so you can build your sentences. Because even if you speak you know, a few words out of the sentence, they'll get the main idea when you talk to them. Whereas a phrase book, well, they think you know the whole phrase and they'll just throw something back at you and you're going to get lost. All right? Now, next, um, don't get frustrated with people. Okay? I have some friends, you know, they go and they try to learn a new language and then they meet locals that say, oh, I don't understand you. Oh, you don't speak it perfectly, so I'm not going to listen to you. Or, I mean, I get this sometimes in Portugal, oh, I speak with a Brazilian accent when I speak Portuguese, so then they say, oh, I don't understand you. Don't let those people get you down, all right? They're idiots, all right? So don't let them ruin your chance to learn how to speak a new language. Just speak, all right? And that's another thing is, without getting frustrated, just speak when you want to learn a language, because it helps you build confidence, all right? Because when you're building confidence while speaking, you know, because you're like, oh, yeah, I can speak, and you just, you make your mistakes, and you're happy with the mistakes, okay? Because you know you're not native. You know you're just having fun, okay? And it makes a difference, and you can have that kind of, you know, extra, I don't know, proudness, pride, that would be the word. You know, I used to speak English a lot. Pride in the way you speak, and people won't stop you in the middle of your sentences when you're speaking with authority, even if you do make mistakes. All right? And then my last little thing, kind of little tip for you if you want to learn languages, is if you're going to live abroad, live with locals. Okay? They're going to speak their language to you. Even if you speak English or German or whatever, and they do too, people prefer to speak in their own language. So if you live in that country, living with the locals is really going to help you, especially if you're reading out loud and you have questions. They're going to be able to tell you what things are. All right? So remember, get a good grammar book, not a phrase book. Don't let the idiots bother you. Have fun while you're trying to learn a language. All right? Just speak. All right? Read out loud, like I said before. Okay? And guys, just enjoy yourself. Because when you're speaking another language and trying to learn it, it is a fun experience. You learn about a new culture and all kinds of things. All right? You know, I'm here at this beautiful, you know, ruined castle here in Heidelberg. Just because, you know, I decided I wanted to learn German. <laughs> you know, 10 years ago, and I took a couple of classes in college, and here I am, okay? So guys, good luck learning languages, whatever it is, if it's Korean, German, English, Spanish, whatever, and I hope here at Walter's World we can help you. So I guess that could be another tip to learn languages. Come watch our videos, all right? And you know, I'm not always perfect, but I speak with confidence and have fun with it, and that makes it all better, okay? So bye from Heidelberg.